yo, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, The Ghettoographer, a.k.a. Patrick Day, coming back at you with another unboxing. And today, we're going to be unboxing this puppy right here, the Beat Studio Pros, right here. Now, I got these because they were on sale, half off, for $174.99. Normally, they go for $349.99, but now they're going for $249.99. So I got these half off and, you know, I said, well, why they're half off? Because the Beats Solo 4s came out. So everything else went half off. So got these. Give you just a little bit of specs. Then we're going to get to the Eagle Eye view. It says featuring a full custom acoustic platform, personalized spatial audio with dynamic head tracking, full adaptive um, active noise cancellation, transparency mode, lossless audio to up to 40 hours of battery life on um, battery life and enhanced Apple and Android capability. Lossless audio with a USB-C cable. All right. Well, that's about it. Iconic sound, new B Studio Pros. So, but before we get into the Eagle Eye view, guys, do me a favor, please like share and subscribe guys we're almost up to a thousand subscribers and i want to thank you guys but if you can like share and subscribe and hopefully i'll earn your subscription you know for you subscribing today but please give us a thumbs up if you give us a thumbs up it will help us get deeper into the youtube algorithm so without further ado let's get to the eagle eye view everybody we're in the eagle eye view and this is the packaging Got away from the other packaging. All right, we don't need to unbox a knife. We just so as packing you go. This is about as bare minimum as you gonna get. All right, take that off. Now I'm already mad. I'm gonna tell you I'm already mad. I don't like that. I don't like this squishy thing right here. All right. That's just how I see what we got in here. So we have our books and stuff. Uh, that's it. Nothing else. I'll close this up. Keep this out the way. I don't, I don't like this case. I like the other, the peel box case. A lot tougher. Show you that later. So you know, okay, so we'll take these out. So okay, we have the, these are. The sandstone. So this is how they're pretty kind of heavy too. All right, so we come in here. We have USB C. The USB C. Okay, USB C. USB C. Charging cable and to listen to the music with lossless. So yes, USB C. USB C. What else we have in here? We have uh, thirty-five millimeter headphone jacks. You know, the gray, I like it. That's it. I'm sorry, I bumped the camera, guys. Please forgive me. We do have a little extra pocket in here, so nothing else in here. All right, guys, here they go. So this is how they look. Flexible that as well. Your studio, these are the pros. We're gonna take out. We're gonna take a look at the studio um, threes and kind of. Compare them up both. So you have the USB C, you have the lights right here. You have this is the on and off button here. This side doesn't click, but the right ear lobe, is this right? No, the left ear lobe. I'm sorry, guys. The left ear lobe does all the clicking. Sorry, please forgive me. So you do have the clicks up, and down, pause, play, the rest of it. And you do have the. If it, Phone jack, 35, 35 millimeter headphone jack right there. So that's pretty good. Um, so let's get into charging it up, see how it looks when it charges up. What we're going to be using today, probably here, um, adaptive charging. Go right here. So let's see how it looks when it charges up. There you go. See, it's charging up. What we're going to do, guys, we're going to make sure we'll see if this charges up using. A charging brick. Put that in there. Put 
There you go. Charging up. So you can use a charging uh, battery pack, charging brick battery pack to do it as well. So you see it works. So why don't we go ahead and get to looking at the um, Beats Studio 3s, comparing from the pros to the threes. Be right back, guys. These are the Beats um, Studio 3s. Now, I don't like, I like this because it had the pockets in it, but I like this better because it's got, it's hard, it's a hard case. And, you know, so these are the studio. Now, I do like it that it has the pockets on the inside, so you have to put all your stuff right here. But this has the pockets. I wish they could have gave a little bit of pockets on the inside of this, guys, and just kept this. Cause look at that. Before we get to these, think about look at that. Now, yes, this has better utility. Got pockets in it, but I think if this one falls, this one be more protected. I like this better, guys. Now, some people might like this. It looks a little bit better as far as you know when you're carrying it with you, but. I like this one better. All right, guys. So these are the pros pros versus the Studio 3s. You can see they basically look the same. You know, they have the same build, build quality. Um, this doesn't have USB-C. This has um, just USB. Um, I think that's micro, regular USB right here. But everything else is the same. Same size, same materials up here. Now, the only thing, th these have wireless, and these are Studio 3s. You see that brass, or whatever is brass, um, connect the thing that connects here. Where this on this, on the studios, don't have that. So basically, you're getting the same designs from the Studio 3s to the Studio Pros. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to show you how it looks when it syncs up using the app. And then we'll go from there. We are back. We're going to go ahead and go to the Bluetooth settings. We're going to turn Bluetooth on. So what we're going to do here, when you turn this on, hit that button there. You're going to hold it to those lights blink those lights are blinking you will hit new device and there you go beat studio pros hit that i'll hit pair and it hopefully it did it and it did so what we're going to do we're going to go to the actual device here so we're going to go back out Get to the beats. We're going to say allow. And we're going to say how the call comes up, everything, how to end call, press twice. So there you go. You have it's connected. It has noise cancellation, transparency mode, and off. You can rename your beats. You can explore noise cancellation, transparency mode. And then you have all this call once and call, um, press call twice, allow, and register. So we're going to go ahead and hit register. But there's no network right now because sometimes this you no know, messes up the microphone. So it's, it's Bluetooth. It's, it's, I mean, it's hooked up. Sorry, guys, hooked up. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the, um, I mean, trying to see if any uh, firmware need to be downloaded get a firmware update. And then what we're going to do is we'll be back at the regular view so we can listen to the music and hear how it sounds. All right, yo, 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 I'm back. Let's go ahead and run it through the spaces, then give my final thoughts and give it a grade. And we're going to see if it sounds better than the Studio 3s. Does the pros sound better? So let's go ahead and see how the music sounds. on here first. Now, now they feel just like, the, um, to me, the Solo 3s. I mean, not the solos, the Studio 3s. I always want to say solo. Studio 3s, so we're going to make sure we get this right. Uh, just left here, okay. Yeah, excuse me, guys, it's hot in my office, so I'm sweating. They feel just like 
Studio 3s. They would fit, they feel comfortable over my ears. Now let's go ahead and listen to some music. Okay. Sounds sounds really good. Sounds really good. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off. And we're gonna go ahead and turn these on. And listen to the same song. See how they sound. Okay, they're, they're connected. So we're gonna listen to the same song again. Okay, that's, uh, it sounds good too. But I think these are the sound clearer. Do this again. Listen to the same song again. The music sound really good, guys, and they do sound better than the Studio 3s. They actually do sound better. Um, also, this has transparency mode, where the Studio 3s do not have transparency mode. So the pros have transparency mode, which is pretty good. Now, we're going to listen to another song. Um, let's see if we can get another song real quick. Um... Let's see if we can get another song real quick. See how it sounds. Okay. Now let's listen to the other one. Start the song over again. Okay. Guys, the bass on these right here are a lot more, I would say overpowered. You still can feel the bass on these, but they're not as overpowered as the Studio 3s. So let's do that one more time. All right, guys, these do sound better. Um, these sound more clear than these. Now, these still sound good, but these sound more clear. So let's go ahead and see if the controls work. All right, we're going to... Sure, I got this all right. Yeah, I got this all right. Okay, it works. Press two twice, it goes forward. Press three. Goes back, you have to press three quickly. Goes back, you press two, goes forward. The controls do work. So guys, what I'm gonna do real quick, cause I didn't do it before we get, give you my final thoughts and give it a grade. I am gonna go to my noisy bathroom with noisy fan to see how the, the um, active noise cancellation does against that. Be right back guys. And then we'll get back when I come back. When I come back, we'll do my final thoughts and giving this puppy a grade. All right guys, I'm back. Now went to my loud bathroom with the loud fan. And the Studio 3s, um, I'm sorry, Studio 3s, they do, you know, their active noise cancellation is pretty good. Um, these are a little bit better. I'm not going to say it's a whole lot better, but it's a little bit better. I did turn on the transparency mode, and it does work as well. I will have to, you know, take it outside and see if I can hear the birds chirp and stuff like that. But these do, um, the noise cancellation, um, work very well um in my bathroom at least as far as the that as loud as that daggone fan is um it cut it cut it cut it out i mean you, you still can hear it but it works pretty well um overall i'm i'm i am 
pleased with them. I think they are an upgrade from the Studio 3s. I think they sound a little bit more clearer. The bass is not over, you know, a lot of the beats will have, the older beats will have that over-reliance on bass. This is not over-reliance on bass. Now, the bass is still there. It still kicks, but it's a cleaner sound. The mids and the highs um, sound cleaner. Um, so they do sound better. Um, nothing's changed ergonom ergonomically, you know, with the how they look. They still fit pretty good, still fit tight on your head. You shake them. They don't come off. They do slide a little bit, but they don't come off. So they're still there. They still give you that tight fit. Um Everything is 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 good. Now, I'm going to tell you this. I, I do like them. Um, I don't like the fact that it comes with a soft case. I prefer not having a soft case, but having this hard case. So when it falls, you know, if it get kicked, kind of protected. I think it's a downgrade. I think they should have did this. They could have made it a little bit bigger, put the pockets on the inside, and still kept this. I don't like this. That yeah, looks a little bit better. It has, you know, the pockets, it has zippers, you know, it's, it's better, but it's, to me, it's, 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 it's foregoing some protection for the, you know, for the pockets. I'd rather have the protection other than the pockets. So I'm a dinger for that. I think, you know, for the price that they're asking for, for 349 or even 249 or even 100 and seventy four dollars, where I bought it at, I think they they should have still gave you this, and they should still put a wire adapter in the daggone box as well. So my my grade for it is I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a B. Sorry guys, it's hot in here. I'm sweating. I'm gonna give it a B. Um, I'm gonna give it a B. It sounds. I'm not gonna say it sounds fifty percent better than these. These sound about. 25 to 30 percent better to me again everybody you know music is different when it comes to everybody what i hear i can let somebody else hear somebody might like these because they like the bass so it's really um subjective when it comes to us regular folk but for the people that's in the music industry people that you know really are are, are you know love music they probably can tell how good these are compared to something like the bows something like the um um the sennheisers and other Audio, Audio Technica, who really do premium, you know, style, you know, over the head hit, um, um, Bluetooth headsets. So to be honest with you, to me, these sound about 20, 30% better than these. Cleaner, highs and lows, mids, the bass is not as, like every time it still gives you a nice thump, but it's not like, like these right here. So, Overall, I'm gonna give these. I'm gonna give them a B, um, just a B, because I think for the price, these are not worth 349. These are not even worth 249. I think these are worth about 150, 174. So if you can get these at 150, 174, you know what I'm saying? To me, that's a steal. 249, I still think it's too high for these. 349 is definitely too hot because that's why I didn't get them when they first came out. I, look, I'm not balling like that. So I had to wait till they came, um, went on sale. When these came out, the Solo 3s went on sale. I got those. When when the Solo 4s came out, these went on sale. So, so when the Solo 4s go on sale, I'm going to get those and test those out. But as of right now, I'm going to give these guys right here a B. Um, if you can get it for... Sorry, guys. If you can get it for 174, 160, and, and that range 50 to 70, go ahead and get them, guys. These are worth the buy at that price. Any higher, I wouldn't get them. I would go and try to buy the Solo 3. I mean, not the Solo 3s. The Solo 3s, yes, or the Studio 3s, which are down. Or go to go to Best Buy. Sometimes they'll have them already open. they have um somebody that returned them, and they'll mark them down. So, if you like your beats. So, guys, I'm going to give them a B. But yet again, this is your boy, the Ghettoographer, a.k.a. Pastor Tate. Thank you for rocking out with me on another unboxing journey. Guys, we are almost up to 1,000 subscribers. So, please like, share, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And I want to thank my new, current, current new subscriber for still rocking with the channel. Guys, we got more unboxings coming soon. So, 
stay tuned. Hit the notification icon bell. Turn that thing on so you can be notified anytime we drop a video. You have a good day. Peace.